Welcome back. My name is Andy Melendrez, and I'm your Ward 2 City Council member and also the host of Shop Local, Shop Small, Riverside. And today we're at the grand opening of a, of a, of a company or a shop named Fridas, and that's F-R-I-D-A-R-S. Miguel, take a look at that. Sign up there. Today is a grand opening. Today is March 7th, 2020. Let's go ahead and take a walk in and, and, and see what they have in here. This is a store that's very unique because it's going to be offering workshop classes and a variety of other services to help small businesses learn how to operate. Let's go on back. Follow me. I'm sorry for turning my back on you, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that they have here. Some of the small merchandise that they have, they, obviously an area where they do soaps, they also have makeup, they have uh, um, jewelry, uh, arts, a uh, variety of things. Miguel, take a look. We're going to introduce you to one of the owners here. Her name is Jacqueline, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about what they do. And looks like she's a little bit busy, but it looks like over here, Miguel, if you turn around, they're doing some weight makeup. Everything is very culturally based here in this shop and based on Frida Kahlo. Let me go ahead and uh, see if we can get Jacqueline for a few seconds. ¿Me permite, Jacqueline? Buenas, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Nos puede dar su nombre completo? Can you give us your full name, please? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Jacqueline Melissa Verba. Uh, and tell us about how, why you came across with the name of this shop, and then tell us a little bit about what you're going to do here and uh, what your what your future is here. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want me to say in Spanish or English? Whatever you like, I'll translate it if it's in Spanish. Okay. okay. I can say it in English. So. Uh, Everything is start because uh, I came here to United States like five years ago. Uh, I made like I made like natural products like uh, soaps, uh, incense, and and different kind of like natural cosmetics. So uh, a lot of women they start me to ask me to teach them how to make them. So uh, with with the time. I start to give like classes, so I start to notice like a, there is like a big necessity uh, for this kind of classes from arts and craft for women and in Spanish, because uh, there is like some places like they are like a really expensive and it's in English and the the woman like the one like we wanna help it's like the woman like they they just came and they are like too shy or they feel like uh, kind of scared for the for the English. So uh, we want to open like a place where they can feel the confidence, like they are gonna speak in the, they are gonna speak with his own people in Spanish. So uh, they are gonna they are gonna feel more confidence and take the classes here and learn and learn how to create like natural products or. Uh, different type of products so uh, and at the same time we want to teach them uh, how to make them marketing for those products so how they can really create an income from their houses and so and Frida's the name is Frida's because of Frida Kahlo because we we are really proud of our culture we love our colors and and me and another friend, we, we came together with the, like, we have to do it together because you have to grow together. It, it's the only way. If you stick together, you can grow. So that's why, that's what this dream start is being like a, like a one year after everything start. So like the, like the plan, all the ideas, uh, because we really wanted to make it like a, like a nice, like a, yeah, like perfect. Let's say, let's yeah. say perfect. So. so, so you teach them how to create the product, and then you also teach them how to market it. But you, in essence, you show them how to start up their own business here. Uh, not only me, because I I know how to do like my stuff. But uh, another woman's like our, our members, they are gonna they are gonna teach like everyone their stuff, and we are like uh, talking like with another. Uh, a chamber for commerce or like another group of women so we are going to help each other uh, so everyone can do her thing because I'm not like an ex expert in marketing I had to learn some to make my my business grow 
but there is like a, a different woman like they're gonna be teaching like a different classes like a English classes like a, um, a computer classes so Okay. So that's Great. the idea. Even even makeup, we women do, do makeup. Like uh, I mean, there is like like uh, like a lot of stuff. Like uh, we are gonna teach here. Okay. Uh, Great. I'm not, I'm not like a professional speaker, but I'm I'm talking with my heart. So uh, thank you so much for oh, coming. No. My, thank my you. pleasure. Now I'm looking over here, and it says market. It says welcome, but there's a lot of shelves on there, but nothing nothing on there. What what are your plans for that section? Uh, we are planning to sell our, uh, or to promote our nat our handmade products, like uh, that lady over there, like you know, like the stuff for the hair, like the earrings, or all, all the hair, Dorita too. Everything is like handmade. So um, all the earrings and all the things. So that's why that's what exactly we want to show our women. Like uh, you can you can create a, you can create your products and you can promote them so we want to em empower in them and in that way so they can feel the confidence um, like uh, doing that they can actually make a, a, a good profit about it Great. well let's go ahead and take a look at just this uh, group of products over here looks like you have some things now are these these are all handmade products locally by uh, by the individuals the, or, or these the, ones. Look, oh those ones there okay this one? They're like, a, they're not handmade, but they're like a very original products and they are like, um, how, how do you call them, Lorita? Like the, the intellectual property, I mean, uh, le, let me show you. Come, come on over here so we can hear you on the mic. <laughs> so, I, I, excuse me, I'm going to walk right behind you, Jacqueline, and give us your full name. My name is Dora. And tell us about your product and uh, how long you've been doing this. Is this something new? Miguel, come around so we can take a look. So I've been uh, working on Dora Estudita for three years, uh -huh. full uh, part-time. Mm -hmm. And I just started because I was going to grad school, I was getting my master's in Chicano studies. Uh -huh. And I was really stressed out, so I didn't know what to do like to cope with the stress. Mm -hmm. So my partner had an idea, he's like, what about if you start making jewelry? I'm like, I have no idea how to make jewelry. So I pretty much uh, taught myself how to make jewelry, and then my friends started buying stuff, and I guess grew from there and then as I started expanding on shirts that represent my culture and, 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 and where do you sell these I mean where do you sell the items actually I sell a uh, mujeres market uh, that's one of the places that I sell a lot and I'm one of their biggest fans and f supporters and I pretty much go to a lot of vending events uh, schools a university started inviting me to come to their campus because a lot of the material uh, speaks to them so you started out not knowing what to do. You taught yeah. yourself how to make the jewelry, yes. and then you found a way to market it through smaller uh, fairs and activities. Also, mujeres, uh, um, what was it, mujeres, uh, mujeres market that comes here to Riverside every so often. Uh, they come to uh, Riverside, yeah, and downtown Riverside, and they. I pretty much started in LA when they were beginning over there, but yeah. So that's how I started doing a lot of the things and. There's a need for it, like even for a lot of my my customers, they're not customers. They become long long life uh, friends, and uh, even like recently, uh, my mom was in a car accident, and they came and supported and decided buying merchandise because it don't it don't it doesn't only get sustains me. I help my parents, so that's a way of giving back to my community. And even for like fundraisers, I'm there like donating things. So it's pretty much my business. It's not like your usual business. It's more like a community business, a family business. So that's what makes my business a more unique. All right. Well, these are what we call pop-up businesses, startup businesses, and really become what we call pollinators, where you start employing people, whether you're employing people uh, from the individuals, uh, the items that you're buying from them, the product to put that together, and then also t-shirts and also uh, kind of yeah. um, uh, materials like the blouses yeah, here. actually my mom um, was the one who taught me about being a vendedora. She used to sell popcorn, chicharrones, and we used to go with her and sell bolis when we were kids. So there's no shame in selling for me. Like, you know, some people are shy, and I'm like, for me, it's not. And then she used to give me her servilletas to sell to people. But people don't know what, like, what they're for, like, or they don't, they're not that familiar, and they're not using it as much. So she started making the nopalitos. So she's the creator for those nopalitos, and now people put them in their backpacks. 
uh, put them in the car and different things like that. Uh -huh. So this is my mom's original work. Yeah. So are those pin cushions or can you just uh, hang in them or? People hang them, people put them in the car, people like just do different things with them. I use them as ornaments and even when it's not Christmas, I use it for like um, buy my books and stuff like that. So yeah. they seem to resonate a lot. You have them in heart shapes yes. and then you have them in moon shapes yeah. and then you have them in, I saw something else in here. I know I saw it in here somewhere, frog. But anyway, I can't find it right now. Yeah, but, yeah. but they're very unique. They're one of a kind. So they're never the same. But yeah, so my mom's my biggest aspiration when it comes to creativity. And yeah, I thank her for that knowledge that she passed on to me. Because it's not, you just, just your traditional thing like, oh, you find a career. Like, I started a business without going to business school. So yeah. Well, thank you so much for the time. Miguel, take a quick look around. These are all these types of businesses locally here and they come out, so makeup, they have soaps, they have hair ribbons, they have, again, makeup over here, they have art, and a variety of other things. So if you get a chance to come out, come out to Frida, Fridars here in uh, Riverside. It's near the corner of, let's see, where are we? On the corner of Chicago and Third Street, and uh, it's right in that industrial complex, right on the corner. Thanks for joining us, remember to shop small, Shop local, Riverside. Thanks a lot.